What up? Gang, 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 gang. Just took the trash out. About to go get some coffee. Excuse me while I drive. Yeah, get out of the way. Get out of the way. But she didn't see me in the car and she was lighting up the bug. If you would light up in front of my house, I mean, at least let me hit it, right? Man, dirty a little bit. Oh, oh, Thank you. It's been a couple hours later. What I've been doing is I've literally been editing some reels, getting some reels edited. If you want to see, this is what I'm currently editing right now. We got food videos going up on reels. Get a little sneak peek of that. Our new YouTube page actually just got monetized. So this basically is a day in the life of a full-time content creator. If you are a full-time content creator, you're actually going to be an editor as well. So it's best that you pick up some editing skills along the way um negotiation skills editing skills sales marketing so if you plan on being a full-time content creator you need to know how to edit you don't have to you could pay somebody but it'll help you out a lot so i know some content creators who don't i'm just looking for a trap pot i know some content creators who don't know how to edit but it's going to make their job that much more difficult when it could be easier like so as as the channel grows and i make more money i can edit stuff but i can also pass it on to other people to edit and i kind of know like what i want them to do what i'm looking for and i can save myself some money because i can just knock out an edit if it's too much going on i can pass it off to somebody else so skills that you want to have to be a full-time con creator once again marketing sales editing Anything basically that it takes to run a business, you're going to be your own business. Remember that. And it's basically, it's really no days off for real, to be honest with you. Because I'm sh editing every day. I'm almost shooting every day. Every single day. But think about that when you want to join this path and be a full-time content creator. So, I've just showered. I ate. Let's get into talking about the equipment that you will need as far as if you want to be a full-time content creator. Now, some people want to go out and buy fancy cameras. You can if you do have the technical knowledge to know which camera you need to get. If you don't have a big budget, which I know a lot of people don't, you can just use your iPhone if you do have an iPhone. That'll be the easiest way for you to get started because you can start today. You can either use free apps like CapCut to edit everything on your phone and post it the same day, which I'm actually running the method out I'm testing right now. I'm going to shoot my vlogs all on my phone, which I usually do. I usually transfer them over to my Mac and edit them in like Final Cut Pro or in CapCut also. But for the sake of storage space, which will be a whole different video that we'll talk about, I'm just going to shoot it, edit it right in CapCut as I'm shooting it, and then I can post it. Like this video right now that I'm working on today. I'll go ahead and get it uploaded tonight when I'm done editing or when the day is coming to an end just so I can go ahead and get it finished. Um, yeah, so I say just start with a phone. Start if you want to start saving up your money or working towards monetizing your account to get some money to fund your career. You do want the everything that you're creating to be able to pay for what you're doing. I understand it's different for everybody. Some people pop off. I seen a girl pop off in three months to three million followers. So of course she's making money way faster than someone who takes seven years to pop off. But I'd say go ahead and start. The reason I'm starting back like kind of vlogging every day is because I got ideas I want to try and I want to get better every day instead of posting once a week. I feel like if I post once a week, I'm only going to be, I'm not going to be Taking it as serious as I should when I have to shoot every day and post every day, it just helped me um, gain more knowledge uh, and execute faster because it's kind of like I have a 24-hour deadline. Just think about it, like if you got to take a test in six months, most people aren't going to start studying today. But if you got to take a test in three days, some people will start today, some people will start, you know, right before. 
But I just look at it like that. I just want to keep a deadline, so sort of keep the sense of urgency with posting. I did Vlogmas to test it out. I didn't make every single post on every single day. It was kind of hard to keep up with. Just coming up with ideas to make videos about, unless I just was doing just like a simple vlog. But like I said, I'm trying to grow my channel. So I'm trying to make it more interesting and bring in new people who don't know who I am and make it visually appealing at the same time. Um, so that's what I'm working on myself. We do ha I have a vlogs on other channels that we do have that's done really well, you know. So it's not I know it's not just about like technical things. It's just about I don't have an audience here to watch the videos. If I had 10,000 people watching these videos, I'm quite sure I can create videos that 10,000 people would want to watch because all I do is consume YouTube content and come up with video ideas. But that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on growing my audience and continue to educate people like yourself on how to get into content creation. Because me personally, I was working a job that I hated for over seven years. Then I was presented with the opportunity to be a videographer slash content creator full time. So I jumped on that opportunity and I'm trying to take advantage of it while helping other people who may be in a certain situation like I was when I was working, I worked 113 hours in a week before I'm working 80 hours, 90 hours a week, doing something that I don't enjoy. Yes, I'm paying the bills and take care of home, but is that a life that you really wanna live? So think about that. Another perk of being a full-time content creator is that you get to make your own schedule. So my girl needed me to drop her off. They couldn't find an Uber, so I had to take them. Not the funnest part of my day, but useful to others, being useful to others is that's what's dope about being a full-time content creator is that you can't help others when you can because your time is kind of flexible. So instead of being stuck at work, you can't leave. If I want to take a vacation day tomorrow and go somewhere I could, I just got to work around it. Or I can work while I'm on vacation. Being able to work anywhere in the world is also a plus. But that's just some another one of the perks that come with being a full-time content creator. So today we've talked about how to get started what you need to get started we talked about equipment we talked also talked about some of the perks of being a full-time content creator now what does being a full-time content creator mean to you